Hi, my name is Lex Kalsert, and I'm the Director of Research Development at the National PKU Alliance. As part of our mission to educate, we have produced a series of short videos to help people with PKU understand the rapidly emerging field of gene therapy. Phenylketonuria, or PKU, is a rare genetic disorder caused by a mutation in the phenylalanine hydroxylase gene. Phenylalanine hydroxylase is a specific type of protein called an enzyme that regulates the amount of the amino acid phenylalanine in the blood. When phenylalanine hydroxylase is not working, phi accumulates in the blood and brain to dangerous levels, causing a variety of temporary and permanent cognitive and behavioral disorders. The goal of gene therapy is to give patients a working copy of the gene to treat the disease. Because PKU is caused by a single defective gene, the gene for phenylalanine hydroxylase, it is an excellent candidate for gene therapy. The first step in gene therapy is for scientists to create a way to deliver the replacement gene into cells of a patient. As it turns out, viruses are very good at this. Scientists use certain viruses with two important properties. First, the virus has its own DNA removed to use it as a delivery vehicle and to help make it safe for use. Second, the delivery vehicle, now called a capsid, must carry the replacement gene to be delivered into the correct cells. When talking about gene therapy, we call the combination of the capsid and the replacement gene vectors. It looks something like this. We start off with the virus, and we remove the virus's DNA. This becomes the capsid. We then add the replacement DNA to the capsid and this becomes the vector that will actually be administered to the patient. If successful, gene therapy may give patients years of reduced dependency of the PKU diet and hope for a cure. But first, these vectors must go through a series of closely monitored clinical trials to ensure both the safety of the gene therapy and confirm that it works. PKU therapy clinical trials are just beginning and doctors are recruiting patients now. To be eligible for a PKU gene therapy trial, a patient must meet several eligibility criteria that can include things like age, gender, current and historical blood fee levels within certain limits, and PKU medications that they are either currently taken or may have taken in the past, and of course, diet. Patients may be excluded from a clinical trial by a number of factors, including whether their body has already been exposed to the vector, evidence of liver disease, or other medical factors deemed relevant by the investigator. So not every PKU patient will be accepted into a clinical trial. These details will be discussed with you by the investigator who is running the clinical trial as part of the initial recruitment interview. While gene therapy trials will be different, upon arrival at the treatment center, patients will undergo a quick medical checkup, which may include things like blood pressure, temperature, pulse, and giving a blood sample. Currently, gene therapy is administered by intravenous infusion. This is a routine procedure and a safe and effective way to deliver medicine into the patient's body. Patients will be closely monitored during the infusion process. After the infusion process is completed, the IV will be removed. Patients may also receive steroids to help reduce immune responses to the vectors. Patients may be required to remain at the treatment center for 24 hours after the infusion. After discharge from the treatment center, patients will be required to return on a specific schedule for follow-up. Details of the follow-up schedule will vary depending upon the specific clinical trial. But in general, 
Patients may be asked to return weekly for a few weeks, then bi-weekly for a few months, and then monthly for a few months up to a year. When patients return, they may be given a brief physical exam, fill out a questionnaire about their health and diet, and give a blood and other samples for laboratory tests to determine if the treatment is working and not causing any side effects. Gene therapy is an exciting new medical technology which holds the hope of a cure or a durable, long-lasting response for diseases caused by changes in the patient's DNA, such as PKU. Gene therapy is new, so there are still many details about the design and use of vectors that will need to be addressed during clinical trials. At this time, three gene therapy products have been approved by the FDA for use in the United States. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of gene therapy and PKU. Our next video will discuss how a clinical trial in gene therapy works.